Hey guys, Mr. Montgomery again. I thought I'd start this video off just a little bit different too. Um, because with measuring, just looking at the workbook is, uh, not exactly the same. Because we're, they kind of want us to be able to use, like, real things. So, let's try comparing something. Because that's what we're going to be focusing on today. How to compare two things that might not be next to each other. And figure out if they're the same size or one's longer, one's shorter. What's going on? Okay, so let's say I have this pen. I want to compare it to, um, hmm, let's see. <laughs> this, uh, this golf tee, okay? I'm going to compare it to this golf tee. And, and to compare them, I'm going to, uh, use, um, oh. <laughs> I'm going to use this playing card. But yeah, I'm going to use the smiley face side because that's a little bit more fun. Okay. Whew. So I'm going to compare this pen, this golf tee, and use a card. I'm going to pretend that these objects are even near each other. And we're going to figure out how to, we're going to see how to figure out which one is longer, which one's shorter, or maybe they're the same length. Who knows? So, this is the one thing we're going to use that will stay the same and will tell us if it's bigger or smaller. So first, let's use this to compare the golf tee. Hmm. It's, it's about the same size as the card. It's about just as long. Okay. Now, let's use the same card to compare this pen. Whoa. Huh. It's longer than the card. So, by using this card, we now see that the pen is much longer than the golf tee. It's shorter. And now, if you do have them next to each other, of course, you could compare them side by side. But, again, the whole point of today is using something else to figure out which one's longer and which one's shorter. Right? Now, maybe you don't have a cool you know, smiley face playing card like this one, and that's okay. You don't need one. Uh, what you can actually do if they don't give you anything in the book or if you're doing a project, guess what? You can just use your hand or a finger, right? So it sounds silly. I know. Hear me out. Hold, hold on. Hear me out first, okay? So if we just take our little pointer finger like this, we can make any, we can pretty much make anything start at the point of our finger. And you can see the golf tee is about just as long as my finger, right? It stops right there. Now, if I do the same thing with the pen, watch this. Look at that. The pen is almost as long as my hand. It goes way past the finger. So, by using my finger to measure, I know that the pen is longer. That's all we're doing today, guys. Sounds easy, right? I thought so, too. <laughs> but... To me, uh, if it seems easy, that just makes things a little bit more fun. So go ahead and get your Robot Turtle book, and I'm going to show you exactly what page we need to be open up to in our Robot Turtle book. All right, so for in our Robot Turtle book, make sure you're open to page 497. 497. Okay, so 497. And if you're not, make sure that you, of course, pause the video like we always do, and... Get, the, get over to that page. Come on, guys. Get over to the page. You know the drill. Uh, then when you have the page ready, then, of course, hit the play button, and you're all set to go. All right. So if uh, you saw the video rolling, I'm going to guess you're ready to go. And let's figure this out. Let's see what's going on here. It says, how could you find out whether the shoe or pencil is longer without putting them next to each other? What can you use? Circle the longer object and explain how you found it out. Well, if you guys remember anything from what I just said in the beginning of this video, you have something on your hand you could use to help compare these two objects. What is it? What is that one thing you have on your hand that you could use to compare these two objects? 
you have a finger. I know it sounds really goofy, but uh, trust me, it works. You can actually use your finger to compare these two objects. So I'm going to just let you guys try this on your own first and see what you guys get. So you go ahead, uh, like act like you're pointing at somebody, but then lay your finger flat against the screen and see which one is longer. First, hold up your finger to the shoe. How much or how far does the shoe go down your finger? Next, put your finger underneath the pencil. And how far down does the pencil go down your finger? You should be able to see pretty easily which one it is. Did you do it? Hmm? Okay, uh, I'm hoping that you circled whichever one was longer on your finger. Did you do that? Okay, we're gonna just try something a little bit different because I know you don't have me comparing a shoe in front of the camera to my finger with a pencil. But now remember, we're not doing like a real shoe, not the shoe that's in front of your, you know, house, okay? Not the shoes that you take off when you go inside your house. Not your actual shoes, just the shoe in the picture. But if I draw a line, we can kind of see where they start and stop. All right, so let's see here. So that shoe stops, starts there, and stops here. That, that's a pretty decent size, that blue line. And the pencil starts there, and it stops way down. Oh, stop, stops like down here. Now, this looks like a bigger gap. Now, remember, guys, I'm only doing this because I don't have a finger to use in front of the camera to show you how the pencil is bigger. This is the one I'm hoping you guys circled on your own was the pencil. You can see that this is a, kind of like a, a big gap with the shoe, right? Yeah, sure. Uh, the pencil has a bigger gap between the start and the end. But of course, you probably knew that already if you used the little trick I showed you with putting your finger against your workbook all right so again guys this is going to be a, a pretty fun unit i really enjoy measurement i think it's just super super fun i don't to me it doesn't feel like work it does not feel like work at all and uh so oh i'm sorry i'm forgetting to answer this question silly me uh which object is longer well we're gonna circle this pencil that is the longer object uh, so remember, guys, you can always use your finger, or if you want to be a little bit crafty like I was, I was just thinking on the fly here, draw a line if they're close enough to each other, and see which one creates a bigger gap on this line. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn our workbooks to page 498. So it's going to be very similar, but there's going to be a few changes. Let's go see what those changes are. All right, everyone, now we're on page 498, 498. Uh, all you had to do is just turn to the next page. Okay, and I made sure I wrote it nice and big just in case uh, for some reason you needed it. I just wanted to play safe here, guys. So now let me clear that up, and let's see what we're going to be doing here today. Okay, now I'm going to explain the first number one. And then you're going to do number two on your own. And as always, for some reason, they always make the guided practice easier for us than what the, um, you know, original page was. It, 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 well, oh, well, we're, we're not going to argue it. We're just going to enjoy it. So what they did here was they gave you two, a red crayon to compare two objects to. Okay. So you have a purple marker and a green marker hmm and we just have to figure out which one is longer by looking at where it it is compared to this red crayon so what you can do with your pencil to just you know play it safe you can always 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 draw little lines going down where the object starts and ends so I'm just going to use black because it's going to stand out so you see they both have that starting line, just like we talked about yesterday. 
And the purple marker where that stops is where I'm going to draw the next line. You see it just goes straight down. And it's not as long as the crayon. And we can do the same thing with this green marker. They both have the same starting line. And the green marker where that ends, I'm going to draw down. And look, the green marker is definitely longer than the purple one. Now, I did this with the lines just in case you were having trouble noticing which one was longer and which one was shorter. Okay? And remember, we're just going to circle the object that is longer after we compared it to this red crayon. So, of course, we circle the green marker. All right, that's all there is to it. Okay? Uh, I want you to try number two on your own. I think you guys are going to do awesome with this. So go ahead and do number two. I'll give you guys a quick moment, and then we'll go over it together. All right, if you're still working, uh, of course, you can pause the video just like always. But if you're done, um, we're just going to keep going because I feel like you guys really really get this because this is kind of fun. I think this stuff is fun. So for number two, I'm going to use the start and finish line. So the purple feather starts at the same point as the crayon, right? And where the feather ends, I'm going to draw a line going down and look how much longer the purple feather is in that crayon. That's crazy. Okay, next we're going to check out this glue stick. Well, for the glue stick, Starts at the same point. And let's see where the glue stick ends. It's not even as long as the crayon. It's not. We can tell by our little start line and our finish line. We did that for both objects. So which one is longer? Of course, I have to use an extra thick marker for this one, an extra wide one. So we're going to circle this purple feather because it is definitely longer than the crayon. And the glue stick isn't. The glue stick isn't. But you know what? Let's just do one more quick fun one. Let's try this little convince me section right here. It says, what is the longest object in the pictures above? How do you know? So they're saying up here, whoop, which object is longer, this blue pencil or the red pencil? And they gave you something to compare it to. So uh, go ahead and circle which one is the longest. And then in this box, you can write down why, or how do you know? How do you know it's the longest? Oh, and just so you guys know, this little green thing that they're using is a string. They use the piece of string. All right. If you're still writing a little explanation, that's fine. Uh, you can pause the video. Take your time, guys. There's no rush. There's never a rush. So let's figure out which one is longer. Well, with this blue pencil, we can do a start line and a finish line, right? We see that this blue pencil is definitely shorter than this string. Then they use the same piece of string for this red pencil. They both start there, and the red pencil finishes down here. Which one's longer? Well, the red pencil, because, well, it's longer than the string. So we would circle this red pencil up here. That's definitely longer. And how do we know that the red pencil was longer? Because it's longer than the string. That's how we knew. The blue pencil was not longer than the string. And that's it. All right, guys, so I'm hoping you're finding this stuff pretty easy. I think this stuff is like just fun. You know, we get to compare things. And you guys can always do this at home, too, of course. Of course, you can do this at home with literally anything. It's really fun to do. Uh, so if you are not in my class and you're from a friend's classroom, please let your, the teacher know that the video is all done and ask the teacher what they would like you to do next. If you're in my class, we are going to do our independent work next. Let's hop on over to that and see what it is. All right, so for our independent work, of course, we click on our man in the blue box. We go to classwork, 
And then I have two assignments set up for you guys. The first one says 12-2, quick check. These are just a couple Savas questions, okay? Next, after you do that, this one I want you to pay special attention to. After you're done that first assignment, we're going to do 12-2, extra practice. I did something different today. This is just a jam board. So it's a jam board activity. And uh, I'm going to read the first one to you, and I'm going to explain the rest of the problems. So, the first one is kind of like a little bit of a story problem. It says the gray car is shorter than the white ribbon. The black car is longer than the white ribbon. So, the gray car is blank than the black car. They want you to either pick the word shorter or longer. Of course, you can just use a sticky note. And, you know, if it's longer, you write longer. I'm not saying that's what the answer is. And you can just kind of pop it right there. It doesn't have to be perfect. Or you can click on the little text thing and you can type it in right there. Either one is fine. Okay. Uh, next, number two, you're going to circle which one is longer. After that, there is another page. Click on the arrow up top. You're going to do the same thing for the nails, except they want you to circle the one that is shorter. And then number three, they want you to make a picture on your own. It says draw a ribbon. Well, instead of a ribbon, um, I'm going to tell you guys what. You can just use a like black line. It says make a, a ribbon. Okay. And then draw an object that is shorter than the ribbon. Draw an object that is longer than the ribbon. So, so okay, we're just going to make this black line the ribbon. Doesn't have to be anything special. You're going to make two ribbons about the same size. Or, you know what? Now we'll do one. And you can draw one object up here. Maybe it's a pencil. And another object below it that is compared to the ribbon. Just make sure you use different colors to help you draw. Okay? So if you're doing a pencil, maybe make it yellow. You know what I mean? Uh, and then you can give it some detail. Kind of like blackish gray at the end because it's a pencil. And of course, it has a red eraser. See? Easy peasy. So, if you want to use this as your first object, you can, but draw something else to compare it to the black ribbon that is either shorter or longer than the ribbon. One of them has to be shorter, one of them has to be longer. All right? And then that's it. So uh, if you have, if you're confused about what to do, pop back in. Raise your hand though. Do not interrupt. Okay, please. Especially if I'm teaching, and uh, so maybe some of the other friends aren't getting as quick as you are, and interruptions can make things tougher to concentrate. Okay, so go ahead, do both those um, assignments if you still have time left over. Of course, you can go on Pink Cat and have some fun on any math game you like. Okay, so. Uh, I hope you guys have fun with this. I hope you're enjoying it. I hope this video helped. And as always, I will see you guys next time. Have a great day.